Taiwanese officials have wrapped up a six-day tour of Palau, during which they hosted the Austronesian Forum. Led by Council of Indigenous Peoples Minister Ichang Parod, the delegation capped off the tour with a visit to the High Chief of Palau's Malikiok State. The minister and the High Chief shared traditional local snacks and talked about similarities between Taiwanese indigenous culture and Palauan culture. The head of the Council of Indigenous Peoples called on the High Chief of Malekio. The two of them hit it off speaking about their traditional cultures. I know that there are at least three words that are the same in both Palawan and Ames. I, which is Mada, and Pig, which is Babui. Younger people might refer to rope as Galing, but we say Galiu. You know, you mentioned about the, the similarity of our language. You know, you mentioned that. <clears throat> When you use the term uh, Austronesian, that's just a family of language. And when you're talking about Austronesian, I think the important thing is we want to teach our young people the origin and the history. The minister was representing President Tsai Ing-wen as a special envoy to Palau. Palau's government gave a warm welcome, allowing the Taiwan delegation to go on a cultural tour around Palau's rock islands, where access usually requires a permit. The delegates said that during their six-day tour, they were impressed by the courtesy and kindness of Palau's people. Formosa, and then continuing on to Philippines, uh, Palau, which is right there. From the seating arrangements at the Independence Day celebration, the closeness of Taiwan and Palau was evident. Taiwan had a special mention, along with the U.S. and Japan. The Austronesian Forum has been established at last, with its permanent headquarters set up in Palau. It can be said that this is the most important outcome in the past 10 years. During the visit, the Council of Indigenous Peoples not only cemented diplomatic ties with Palau, but also laid a solid foundation for the Austronesian Forum. Delegates said they hoped the two countries would continue to work together to preserve traditional cultures.